Hey guys, welcome to the video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to and what is the best armor combination with enchants in Minecraft 1.16. First of all, you're going to need to get full netherite, that's the first step because netherite is the best armor in Minecraft, so you're going to need to get that if you want the best armor. But, I'm also going to be showing you mainly just the ma best enchants in Minecraft. Before we move on, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it's so easy, please just click it, it would mean the world to me. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Keep in mind I'm in creative, so if you're in survival, you do need levels, but if you're in creative, then levels don't matter and you're good to go. Keep in mind that all of these enchantments are maxed out to the highest they can be. Some of them are IV, some of them are 2, some of them are 3, and some of them don't even have a number, but trust me, they are all the highest they can be. Okay, so we got our little custom station here. We got our anvil, we got our armor, and our enchantment books in the chest. Let's just take a look. This is the netherite armor. You're going to need to go watch these two videos. I will leave the link down in the description on how to get netherite and how to make it into netherite armor if you need to. Um, if you already have it, then that's fine. You can skip that step. But for the actual books, I have organized it. So yeah, these two are optional, but we will go through them. So first of all, starting off, every single piece of armor needs the same four, at least four. Now, the helmet has two extra, and the boots have one extra. Uh, I'll talk about it later, but it does get a little confusing with the boots. Every single piece of armor has the same four essential, which is Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Protection IV, and Mending. See, as you can see, all of these have at least, oh, oops, sorry, at least those four things, and some of them have additional things. But we're going to start off first with the netherite chestplate and the netherite leggings, which are the same exact thing. So let's go ahead and take all of the books and all of the things, take it into here. So we have first mending, thorns three, unbreaking three, and protection IV. And then let's do the leggings. So we have mending, unbreaking three, thorns three, and protection IV. So now, these are the best leggings and chest plate that we can possibly get in Minecraft. It's pretty simple. Uh, keep in mind that for stuff like chest plates and uh, leggings and stuff, it, you can, you know, change the name pretty easily. But for the helmet and the boots, you're going to want to name them early. Uh, so, so if you want to name your, you know, your boots slippers, name them before you put any enchantments on them. Or like with the first enchant rename it because for these the chest plate and the leggings they don't have that much on them so it doesn't really matter but for the boots and the helmet it does matter a lot so just make sure you do that so yeah this is basically the best you can get with i'm mean, not basically i mean it is the best you can get with the chest plate and the leggings and yeah so let me just show you let me just do a brief kind of explanation of everything in here starting off with mending Mending is basically if you have something where the durability is low and you get XP, whether it be by fighting mobs or experience bottles, anything that gets you levels, if you're low, if it has low dur durability and it's not fully healed, it will heal your armor as long as it's on you and, you know, equipped. So then Thorns 3 is basically if someone comes up to you and hits you, Depending on what they're using, it might hurt you, but it will also hurt them, even if you're not fighting back. I'm showing it on the screen right now, it's a better representation. So it's like an actual thorn bush. If you go up and touch a thorn bush, it's not going to lunge at you. I mean, it's a thorn bush, it can't do that. But it's going to hurt you, even though it's not moving, if that makes sense, <laughs> if I put that in better terms. And then Unbreaking 3 basically just makes it so, it's basically exactly how it sounds. It just makes it break slower. It's also the best unbreaking you can get. And then protection IV is also just how it sounds. It's just protection. So it's going to help you a lot when you're fighting. And you can get other stuff like blast protection IV, fire protection IV, projectile protection IV, that kind of stuff. But if you're going for the best possible armor, you're going to want protection IV on every single piece of armor. If you don't mind, you can always get fire protection, blast protection, projectile protection, Whatever you want, but I recommend Protection IV. And you can see the difference, too. It really improves it. So, on both of those, that's exactly what you need. And let's just go ahead and equip these. Okay, so moving on now to the helmet. Again, we have the same four things. Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Protection IV, and Mending, like I just explained. But we have two additional ones. So we have Respiration 3, which helps you breathe underwater. And it basically improves how long you can breathe underwater. To me, I think it's a great enchantment. It really helps, and yeah. And then Aqua Infinity, it basically allows you to break blocks 
uh, underwater a lot better. And yeah, it can be really useful, especially with certain things. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and combine all of these. Thorns 3, Unbreaking 3, Protection IV, Mending, Respiration 3, and Aqua Infinity. Now we have the best helmet we can possibly get in Minecraft, and let's just throw it on there. Let's talk about the boots. <laughs> They're very confusing. Well, not really, but... So, again, we start off with our Breaking 3 Thorns 3, Protection IV, and Mending. And Feather Falling IV, which basically, you know, helps you from... If you're falling and you drop, it will improve, like, that. So it's basically, if you fall from a big height, it's gonna help you with that, and you can only get it on boots. Now, as you can see, there's Thorns. Now, some people prefer to switch Thorns with something either like Frostwalker 2, which allows you to walk on water, or Depth Strider 3, which basically makes you swim a lot faster. And if you want to use either of those, you can't have both, but if you want one or the other, you can switch it out with Thorns 3, but that's taking away Thorns 3. But it is your decision, so if you want to swim faster, or you want to walk on ice, or walk on water, I mean, then you can always switch those out with Thorns 3, just so you know. But we're just going to stick with the best possible combination in terms of, you know, PvP and stuff, that kind of thing. Like, it, this will be the best combination, but if you're just using it for, like, recreational purposes, I don't know, then you can always get these two and switch it out with Thorns, or just one or the other. So let's go ahead and take this and combine them. Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Protection IV, Mending, and Feather Falling IV. There you go, and boom! We have the best possible armor in Minecraft 1.16. That is awesome. And now let's go kind of test it out a little bit. Okay, so this is a nine block jump, and as you can see, half a heart. This is a 25 block jump, and as you can see, two hearts. Now, each Minecraft human player has 10 hearts, and if 25 blocks does takes off two hearts, then 125 should take away all arts. But let's see how high up this armor can stand. This is 125 blocks up. And yeah. <laughs> yep. But yeah. 125 blocks up and I mean I think any Minecraft player, you know, that would work for anyone. But that's pretty impressive. That's 25 blocks up and it only took off two hearts. And you can go quite a bit higher. And 125 is high, but, you know, it's still impressive that it can only take off two hearts with 25 blocks. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know down in the comments how this armor works for you. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. My merch is on the screen and in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit that subscribe button if you can. And if you want to see more videos like this, maybe with tools instead, then yeah, let me know down in the comments as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!